Hi guys, Glader here. So today I have another video about the Freecraft Core Proxy. If you haven't seen the last two videos, just go check them out. But I'll give a brief explanation of what this is. This is a proxy application that sits in between the client and the game server, and can interpret the packets. And it can even modify the data in the packets. It's aware of the content. I call it a content-aware proxy. And today I'm going to show you a little demonstration of hooking into it or plugging into it with a packet handler or a payload handler and modifying the data. I'm going to have a simple demonstration, but first we're going to run this and I'm going to log in normally without any data modification. Now this is just going to be modifying an incoming packet, so it's not too useful, but I just want to show you the power of the design of this proxy. So we're going to log in. And right now, uh, I don't have it set up to automatically detect the process ID. So, I have to enter that, which is kind of dumb. Okay, so we have a Torin. You know, some characters on here. And you can see a bunch of stuff happens over here, but let's go ahead and close this. And I have a new handler, which is pretty simple to create. You create a new handler, derive from this base type, and add this attribute. This attribute is only required because the server and the client both have the same base type payload. And we come down here and we enter the handle message contacts with your asynchronous. It really does support quite a few things because of that. Um, although the way that I currently have it set up is you can only ever handle one packet at a time. Because I'm a little worried about getting packets out of order. But enough about that, that's not too important. I have a simple demonstration that takes the first character from the character list response, and because I don't have a constructor or these fields are read-only, um, I do a little bit of reflection here, which is, probably looks a little weird to some people, but I'm just going to set the character race to drain eye. And now that I've uncommented that, I can recompile it, and we can see what happens now when we run this proxy and connect. All right, two, three, six, eight. Eventually, you won't have to do that. Okay, well, now we've got a a Draenei Hunter. That's pretty neat, and we could close it and do the same thing again if we wanted to. We can change it to. Is there any race that? What is uh? Maybe there's a race after twelve. Let's see. Let's cast. 12, cast this to race. Let's see what happens. It could be a client crash, or we're doing something new. And if it doesn't work, then that'll just be the end of the video. But something cool could happen. Let's see. There should be no races after Drain Eye. Maybe it loops back. Who knows? Let's find out. Uh, 2, 3, 6, 8. Ooh, it does not like that. <laughs> um, it could not find a sound name. Interesting. It didn't like that. Nope. So that that didn't work because there's no race after 11 in the enumeration. So that's it for today, guys. Thanks for watching. Uh, you can do this with any packet you want, uh, outgoing or incoming. And you can basically hook it change stuff, send it, just forward it. it, even send like requests or do, you can do anything you want to do, it, it's just C-sharp, you can do anything you want, anything, it doesn't matter, you could even send an HTTP request to some other server somewhere if you, if you felt like it for some reason. That's it guys, thanks for watching, I hope to bring you some more interesting content about this, and there's still that secret secret reason I was developing this and I'll disclose eventually. Probably in a future video. Thanks for watching guys.